What up guys? What up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you guys here. Sorry for having my mean mug right in your face. That's a little close. Holy moly. That's a little better. I guess. Um, Yeah, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you guys here. Today we're going to finish our journey through monoskins tour videos uh they released like four already so here's another one we're gonna break it up into i don't know how many parts i guess we'll watch like 10 minutes then another video do 10 more minutes another 10 and uh yeah because uh i have a short attention span and i can't watch a 30 minute video um yeah i'm excited their new album drops this month so you better go get it or stream it or support the band in any way i will be obviously reacting to i'm thinking i don't know if i want to do the whole album in one shot or just do each song but uh we'll see we'll see anyway let's watch this tour video and talk about it here we go this is monoskin 2022 North American Tour. Damn, this is a long one. 36 minutes. Vai, andiamo avanti. Okay, ragazzi. I'm really excited for this new album because it's the first album they released since I've known them. You know what I mean? This camera is driving me crazy, guys. I don't like... Alright, that's a little better, I think. Um, Yeah, this is the first album they've released since I've been a fan, so it, it is pretty exciting. Uh, this is like the build-up to the album. Is that a new song? What is that? Poi c'è il ritornello, cool kids, cool kids, cool kids. Vai. Eh, i ragazzi fighi loro non vomitano. O almeno non di davanti a Vic, perché Vic ha paura del vomito. Dovremmo raccontare cosa mi è successo qua in Messico. Sì, bravo. Allora, è una storia molto triste. Sono arrivata in aeroporto. A sad story. I like sad stories. Uh, it's probably not sad. She's probably joking, but let's see. Arriviamo al controllo del passaporto, apro la mia borsa e non c'è più il mio passaporto. E io inizialmente ero tranquilla perché ho detto tanto stavo in aereo, dove può essere, insomma, ce l'avrò. Allora questi vanno a cercare a controllare in aereo. Dopo 40 minuti arriva un tizio dell'aeroporto che mi dice vieni con me, senza dirmi niente, io faccio ok. Arrivo e mi dice dammi il tuo telefono e dammi anche il Nintendo. E mi mette in una cella, ok, con dei tizi veramente strani e mi fanno aspettare per quattro ore e mezza dentro questa cazzo di cella e mi dicono che il mio passaporto non è stato trovato e che dovrò aspettare tutta la notte nella cella e essere rimandata in Italia per fortuna 
io non sapevo niente e non avevo il telefono e tutta la stanza era senza maniglie, anche le porte del bagno erano senza maniglie, c'erano tutti questi tizi strani. Dopo quattro ore e mezza e stavo dormendo in questa cella, arriva qualcuno a salvarmi. Arrivo a casa e è tutto ok, quindi tutti mi sgridano che ho perso il passaporto, che sono una cogliona e guarda cosa è successo, che sia di lezione. Mi sveglio oggi e si scopre che quel coglione di Damiano ce l'aveva nella sua valigia e gli ho anche detto di cercarlo oh my God. e non ha detto niente, ce l'aveva nella sua valigia, io ho aspettato 5 ore in una cella per colpa di Damiano e domani devo andare alle 6 in ambasciata per colpa di Damiano perché comunque il mio passaporto ormai non vale più. I would fucking kill Damiano, bro. Oh my god. That is messed up. That is a sad story. That's a lot. And that's scary. Victoria being locked in a cell in a in a unfamiliar place. That's fucked up. Damiano, I hope you were apologizing profusely. Damiano <laughs> That's not, is that new? I can't picture them playing on the street without getting fucking mobbed. Like the days of that are kind of over, you know, for them. They're so big, they can't just play on the street. <laughs> Comunque sto morito Gesù Ma che sei una madre? Dopo le mie 5 ore in ambasciato stamattina hai alzato da me E sono andata a compagnia uno che fa un'altra It's one of them things like uh you know going to to uh jury duty or something you have to do that you don't want to do and it throws your whole life off and when you get out you feel so good you feel so ah thank god and I don't know if everyone's like this, but I'm one of them people where I have to do something like that, which I never had to do that. But, I mean, something bad that you just have to do. I'm one of them people that I will bitch, complain the whole time beforehand. But when I do it and it's over with, I'm just so happy to be done with it that I'm not even mad about it anymore. I'm just happy it's over. She seems like she's like that, too. Like, she's she's not mad no more. She's She's just happy it's over with. I actually been in Vegas uh, last summer, or yeah, last summer I was in Vegas, so that's cool. Not as exciting as I thought it would be, you know, I'm not, I don't drink as much as I used to, I'm not a gambler, so Vegas isn't the best place for me anymore, you know, I'm not, I drink here and there, but not like I used to, so it was, uh, it was cool though, I mean, it was fun, but it just wasn't what I thought. It's not a very bad shit. It's the first time. I got it. Hello?
proprio saliamo tutti senza strumenti, tutti col microfono e ognuno canta la sua parte. An acapella band where all, you know, uh, everyone's playing their instruments just making sounds through with their voice. That would sound horrible. And there are groups that do that. What's that one group? Um, oh, there's a group that does that. It's it's kind of corny. Like, it ain't something I could get into. But they, they do all their instruments through vocals. Uh, you know, it's unique, but it would sound... I'd much rather have the guitar. <laughs> Quello che avevo pensato io era che potevamo sfruttarci visto che siamo a San Francisco, San Francisco. Francisco. That's where Metallica originated, bro, or where they came up. They moved there. The Bay Area, the thrash area slayer metallica anthrax all of them was san francisco just like for grunge it was seattle activities on alcatraz include ranger led programs the Alcatraz. Guys, there's a movie with Clint Eastwood called Escape from Alcatraz. It's a famous prison. Uh, it's been... Uh, it's been... What's the word I'm looking for? It's been in movies depicted. It's been depicted in movies, games throughout the years. I mean, it was in Tony Hawk. One of the Tony Hawk games. It was in a movie, Escape from Alcatraz. Uh, yeah. It's a famous prison. Where's the where are the glands? Where's the glands? <laughs> Looks like they're in a aquarium. <laughs> Uh, that hat is fucking hideous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. I love you, though. I gotta say, I like his dedication to the drums. He's always practicing, always constantly playing, you know, on a mat, on a wall, whatever it is. He's he's constantly perfecting his craft, practicing, warming up, loosening up. You gotta admire that. You gotta you gotta admire that. That's that's legit. He cares about his instrument. You ever been in that kind of pain where you're just like, ah, we've all been there.
Let's sing over that. It sounded good to sing one. you get that's the verse you get Hey, did you guys see that Damiano like shaved his head? I know you guys seen it. We're gonna go for 20 minutes and then we'll stop because I got other things to do. Um, but yeah, he shaved his head. Are you guys sad about that? I don't mind. I think it looks cool. He looks tough. He looks badass. It's cool to switch. Uh, some bands they switch their image every album. Like Slipknot, every album they have new masks. It's cool. It, it makes it feel like it's a new, fresh band. Yada yada yada. Solo Coca Cola solo gomme. Gomme? No, Coca Cola. Yes. Yeah. Oh, pizza, my favorite. It's funny seeing Italians eat pizza. It's, I feel like it's one of them foods that Italians don't like because it's, like, so generic. You know, everybody likes pizza, so it's, like, kind of boring to an Italian. Let me know. Is that true? Dramatic moment. Dramatic moment. That looks like Jodie Foster. <laughs> One more second. Uh, I, I know right when I... Io cioè ti volevo solo dire io comunque la soddisfa i Giuseppe se vogliamo provarla. Ah, ok, ok. Quindi lei pisciata? <laughs> Gotta check the armpits. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to I love monoskin, but sometimes I hate the way they dress. It's like they just wear anything. I know they get sent these these like uh, Gucci clothes and all, but it is not my style. But I get it. They want to portray a certain image, you know, that rock star look. Greta Van Fleet does it too. Don't tell me he wears spandex. Uh, evil Knievel type outfits down the street, but it looks cool. I mean, it just ain't my bag. Oh, 
No, this is more dangerous, man. No, you have an even no, no, bigger no. one in no, the box. No, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe because they're not... They're not gay, and they're dressing, you know, kind of provocative. I, like, I... All right, perfect example. Elton John used to do it. But Elton John is homosexual, so it's it seems okay. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to be He's not trying to be gay. He is gay. He's homosexual. And they're doing it to press buttons or have a certain image to to speak for the, the gay community, but they're not actually gay, so I don't know. It doesn't even matter. It just ain't my style. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's all about the music. Are right, we at 20 minutes? All right, we'll, we'll go a couple more minutes because I want to see what happens. <laughs> they, 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 they are always bullying me. And what I meant by that, guys, is don't don't think I'm, you know, talking bad about them. I just meant it's their stage gear. It's not if they were in real life down the street all day every day, then I wouldn't even have said that. But uh, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, continue. <laughs> There he is again, practicing. That dude is dedicated. Salt Lake City. It's like a city I never... Alright guys, we're going to stop it here. We're 12 minutes in. We are going to continue it, so please come back. Come back and hang with me and see the rest of me watching another video of... I'm putting my Vans on. Monoskin, the very great and talented Monoskin. I'm super excited for this new album. I think I kind of want to just listen to the whole thing in one shot. And maybe I'll break it up into parts and put it on the Patreon. Because you know I can't listen to a whole album on here and have it not get blocked. So go sign up for the Patreon. And we're going to put it on there. And obviously I'll put some of them on the main channel i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i do i'm definitely gonna do the whole album i just don't know how i'm gonna do it because a lot of their stuff gets blocked okay thank you guys have a great day appreciate it and i love you mono skin january january 27th i think i don't know we'll see i love you guys